or even better, they take that plastic container and then mix it with the homemade stuff. Oh, oh. <laughs> so good. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago I created a video about foods that I really do not like here in Germany and as I promised I am gonna go through some of the foods that I actually from the get-go was obsessed with that makes Germany everything and then also some of those foods were back in Canada I was like ew no that is absolutely disgusting I am NOT putting that in my mouth and then here all of a sudden it's like the best thing ever so take what you want from this video this is what I think and this is what I love about German food and I am so excited to share it with you today if you don't know me, my name is Jenna and I have been living here in Germany since 2014. I run my own website called lifeindusseldorf.com. I've also created lifeingermany.com, which goes through the entire process of getting started here in Germany. I'm talking about taxes and bank accounts and making friends and getting your visa and saving a ton of money when getting started in Germany. That's a little bit about me and tell me in the comments below if you've tried some of these things and if you think they're absolutely amazing or perhaps if you've found something better that's worth trying out here. I have been here for years now and there are still so many things that I see on the shelves here in Germany in the supermarkets that I have not tried yet. So here's what I found so far and I hope you love it. I'm gonna start with the things that I've loved from the get-go, from the very beginning. Before I even moved to Germany, my boyfriend at the time, who's now my husband, was sending me packages in the mail of containers of Ovomaltin. In Canada we have Ovomaltin, but it's like basically a powder that you mix into milk and then you stir it. They also have that here, but they've created an Ovomaltin spread here, which is kind of like if anybody knows what Maltesers are. Basically that mixed with Nutella and then mashed into a glass. It's literally the most delicious thing. I can't even bring myself to put it on toast because it just tastes so good with a massive dollop like right on your spoon. Reibekuchen, which is basically like a potato pancake. And what they do here is they take potatoes and they shave them on perhaps a carrot grater or something similar. And then they mix that with onions and different delicious spices in an amazing batter. And then they throw that into a deep fryer and out comes these delicious, greasy, Reibekuchen, which they eat with applesauce. I still find that a little bit strange. And similar to Ovomaltin, I actually just love it on its own simply because it's amazing. I wish somebody had have told me before I moved to Germany how amazing Schorle was and how crazy the Germans are for anything Schorle. And when I say that, I mean Rhabarber Schorle, Apfel Schorle, Granatapfel Schorle, really any fruit that you can think of, they make a schola out of it, which is essentially bubbled water mixed with the fruit juice. And I used to do this all the time in Canada with bubbly water and orange juice for breakfast because I just thought it tasted so nice and I'm really not a soda pop fan. So I found mixing bubble water with juice made it like this extra delectable treat. But here in Germany, you can find it on the supermarket shelves really anywhere and basically at every single restaurant. Thank you. Thank you, Germany. Spargel is asparagus in German. And I rather like asparagus back in Canada, but the asparagus that we have is green. And in Germany, you can get both green and white asparagus. And the white asparagus is nice and thick. You actually have to peel it like you would perhaps a carrot, again, with the carrot reference. And you peel the shell of the white asparagus off, and then you boil that. And once it's finished, you can top it off with amazing hollandaise sauce. And it's just this mouth-watering, amazing dish. If you haven't gotten on the Döner bandwagon yet, I suggest you do it right now. I live in Düsseldorf, and we have quite a number of Döner shops. I've mentioned in my other videos that I don't eat most meats, I actually just eat chicken, but most Döner shops here around the city do also have chicken Döner. They offer lamb Döner, and we even have a restaurant here in Düsseldorf that offers vegan Döner, so there's no excuse. You have to try it, it is amazing. It's basically a massive flatbread cut into four triangles, and in one of those triangles, they just stuff it full with shaved meat off the spit. They throw that in there with some delicious sauces, some veggies, your lettuce, your onions, sometimes even cheese. And when I asked my husband, if you had to pick one food, what food would you eat for the rest of your life? And without a doubt, without a single second to spare, he immediately says, Döner. 
I feel like a lot of the things I love here in Germany can be tongue twisters. So the next one I'm going to mention is Quackbällchen. And Quackbällchen are incredible. They're basically like Timbits, if anybody's heard of Tim Hortons back in Canada. I am obsessed with Timbits. However, here in Germany, you can get Quackbällchen at a lot of different street food vendors. I tend to get mine at the flea market quite often. And they are basically deep fried balls of dough thrown in the deep fryer and then rolled in a ton of sugar thrown in the bag and they usually only cost about one or two euros for like a massive bag of them and I pretty much get them every single week the flea market is on because I just can't say no. And then you've got Käsespätzle which everybody who's moving to Germany has to have heard of Käsespätzle. It is this amazing dish which is basically a hand-formed noodle that they roll into different little pieces and then boiled and cooked and fried up with caramelized onions, different sorts of cheese, spices and then served up fresh with this ooey gooey, yummy, delicious melted cheese as you fork it out of the bowl. Oh, mmm. This video is killing me. I did actually make a list of like over 100 things, but right now I'm picking my favorite to tell you and then we're gonna jump on into some of the things that I absolutely hated and then now I just all of a sudden grew to love because Germany. So last one is Knödel and I saved that for last because I just love saying Knödel. I think it's the cutest, funniest German word there is out there. There's different ones. There's actually ones that are made out of breadcrumbs, but I'm talking about the ones specifically that are made from potato starch and they are just ooey and gooey and chewy which sounds kind of gross, but when they're boiled up and you've got gravy poured over top of them, they are usually served around fall and Christmas time and they are so, so yummy. So let's jump into some of the things that I found absolutely disgusting when I first arrived here and thought, are Germans crazy? Like, why would they eat this stuff? Rotkohl, red cabbage. Oh my god, I thought they were the most bizarre people ever when I saw them eating it like by the bowl and sometimes they mix it with like bacon pieces. I would pick the bacon pieces out and then try it and every time I was like, mm, no, this isn't really my thing. But then eventually, it's just kind of like a seasonal thing that they serve up with the knudel and goose and all these different traditional wonderful fall dishes and eventually I just grew to love it. Now I think it's such a staple in any fall or winter dish here in Germany. Am I allowed to call butter a food on its own? Because when I met my husband, I watched him eat butter by like the pound and I thought it was so, so nasty that he would just like take bread and then put more butter on top of the bread and it'd be like, hey babe, do you want some more bread with that butter? I just thought it was the strangest thing ever. And then I moved to Germany and I started realizing that I would put more butter and more butter and more butter on my bread, on my noodles, on everything I was cooking. And now I use so much butter that I actually use more butter than my husband. And then I had to sit back and think like, how did this happen, Jenna? Like you probably shouldn't be eating more butter than you used to eat because at the end of the day, butter is not the best thing for you. However, one day, like last week, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna take like a fork of butter and put it in my mouth and see if I actually like it because if I did that in Canada, I would probably throw up. And I did it. And you know what? Butter in Germany kind of tastes like a delicious, smooth cream cheese or delectable dish that you could actually eat on its own. <laughs> that sounds absolutely crazy, I know. But the butter here is so fresh and so pure and so delicious that I've grown to become absolutely obsessed with butter. Bread is another thing I need to give Germans a big high five for because oh my goodness, I hated dark bread back in Canada. You know that bread that they call toast here in Germany? I would just eat that all the time in Canada. Those big white loaves of bread here that is considered toast and you don't eat that unless you're going to toast it. They have some of the best bakeries and the best assortment of bread I have ever seen in my life. And so even dark bread that I used to like spit out at the kitchen table if my mother ever made me eat it, I find in Germany is absolutely delicious. It really is. And all you need to do is put a little butter on it and oh, it's amazing. Okay, my camera's about to die and I'd love to finish this up. So let's choose two more out of my massive list of things that I began to love. And the next one is potato salad. I really do not like mayonnaise mixed with egg, mixed with potatoes, mixed with sometimes pickles. I just thought it was so disgusting back in Canada and I knew that I would never ever eat it here in Germany. However, 
Like many of the other foods here offered in Germany, it is so fresh, even by the plastic container at the grocery store, that I couldn't resist. Their mayonnaise here is much nicer than back in Canada and it's not as vinegary. And you can actually choose from having a creamier potato salad or one that has a little bit more vinegar in it here. And then when somebody makes it homemade or even better, they take that plastic container and then mix it with the homemade stuff. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So good. And lastly, mustard. I really did not like mustard. I thought it was sour and disgusting. And then when I moved to Dusseldorf specifically, because they are very well known for their mustard, I found mustard here to be incredible. And they have mild, they have medium, they have spicy mustard. And here in Dusseldorf, you can actually pick different flavors of mustard. So you can pick like truffle mustard, you can pick glühwein mustard, you can pick onion mustard or plum mustard or whatever you want. And it really makes mustard that much more fun. I hope you found this video quite entertaining. If you're living in Germany and you had some things at the very beginning which you almost refused to eat but then slowly began to love because somebody kind of just pawned it off on you, I would love to know. I'd also love to know if you're German or if you've lived here for a really long time, what do you think I should really consider eating that you think I would absolutely love? I might just be willing to try some new things. So that's it for me guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet, please Please click the subscribe button and hit that bell notification if you'd like to be updated on my new and upcoming videos. Otherwise, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and have an absolutely wonderful day. Stay happy, stay safe and stay healthy. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.